Hi guys! <laughs> this is about take 20 of this video. I keep trying to make this video and when I keep replaying what I um, made, it is so damned negative. And I don't want to be negative. I really do not want to be negative because, <laughs> because to be honest with you, there's way too much of that on YouTube at the moment. There's way too much drama and I do not want to be a part of that. And it is too easy and it is too tempting. <laughs> it is. To, and it's one of the things I promised myself when I decided to establish a an internet presence was to actually be better than I am in real life. More positive, don't swear, um, more tolerant, generally be a better person. Um, and I, I believe I've been reasonably successful so far, and I refuse, I refuse to let this current little um, drama fest change that. So, this video is a quick update. It was not a quick update, trust me, it's not going to be quick. Even I know this is not going to be quick. This is going to be another ramble about the content ID system and my channel. You may have noticed a reduction in the number of videos being released in the last few days, and you might be wondering, is this because of all the drama, or is it because of Christmas? Uh, both. It is Christmas, and anyone with kids will tell you Christmas with kids is a tiring time. It, here's what they don't tell you. Each child that you have makes it 10 times more tiring. So the first child makes Christmas 10 times more tiring. The second, 100 times more uh, tiring. The third, 1,000 times more tiring, and so on. And as you all, as many of you do know, I've recently had a, another child. She is actually adorable and very easy, but, you know, when you add to the mix of the rest of them, it just... Yeah, <laughs> it is It is wall-to-wall -wall Gamora and chaos here. So, uh, we got a lot of things going on, and I'm at, we're actually planning a trip. We're going away, taking the entire family to England for a couple of weeks, and, of course, that's taking a lot of time. Oh, and on that subject, over the Christmas period, there will be a gap in videos. I was hoping to have a collection of surprise videos. Uh, like I did once when I went on holiday, I had the Amnesia playthrough, and I released that every day. I was planning on having either, well, I was planning on having Metro 2033, but I've just not got around to playing it, um, and, I, and I'm so behind on a million other videos I want to make. Um, it's probably not going to happen, so don't expect it, I'm afraid. Um, things are just, I'm run off my feet. Um, and I have another game I really want to play, and I don't know which I'm going to play first now, because it's Wasteland 2. There is um, an early release version, and, and I really would like to play this, so I'm actually thinking of doing a Let's Play of Wasteland 2. If you don't know what Wasteland 2 is, uh, it's the follow-on to Wasteland. Duh. No, uh, <laughs> Wasteland is a very, very old game, and in many ways it's considered the spiritual parent of Fallout. Um, you, you, when you see Wasteland and Wasteland 2, you're going to see a lot of similarities between that and the Fallout world. Um, there is a reason for it. Uh, Wasteland kind of inspired Fallout. So, so Wasteland 2, it's, um, it was one of those independent projects, a Kickstarter, um, and it's, it's almost ready to go. And I really want to do a Let's Play. It's an isometric game, um, and it's party-based. It's an, it's an RPG, but it's party-based. Very similar to the original um, Wasteland and Fallout games. Fallout 1 and 2 were um, top-down, isometric, and um, turn-based. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, I really want to play that. And still XCOM. <laughs> and all the other games that I keep buying and not getting time to play. I have got to stop buying games or I have got to invent a time machine or perhaps clone myself a few times. I have got too many things going on. Right, so let's just get to the, to the, the heart and soul of this ramble. The new changes on the content ID system. I keep getting hit. I'm, I'm getting them. I'm getting them fairly constantly. Um, got another one. Uh, this is this is this is for the Independence Yang, Yankee Doodle Dandy American Classic with fife and drum uh, by BFM Digital, it and it comes. is. I want to nuke things. 
to stop that before I get a strike on this one as well. Yes, that annoying music that Enclave Radio plays. Apparently, I'm getting claimed because of that. And this is this is the sort of thing that keeps happening. Um, I've had several videos, especially Fallout 3 and Fallout of Vegas. I get claimed for the music on GNR. I get claimed for the music on um, the Fallout of Vegas channel. But... More than anything, I'm getting claims on the background music. You know the ambient game music? The stuff that nobody on the in their right mind would ever buy and listen to. That kind of... I don't you know, you're just a little thing, the little music in the background in New Vegas that makes you think of deserts or makes you think of military bases. And they have that. It's just this, this very bland, atmospheric music. That. I'm constantly getting claims on that. Um, and... What's even worse is sometimes it's on the same video I had a claim two days ago, but it's for a different piece of music. Um, so it looks like the the algorithm they're using goes through your video, finds one song, and says, oh, no, somebody owns that. So you go, I dispute it. And you, a few days later, you get your video back. And then they go, all right, well, now it's got this song. And you dispute, and so on. Um, which is tiring and very annoying, um, if you think about an hour-long episode of Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 3, you're probably going to have at least 10, maybe even 20 pieces of atmospheric music playing, and in theory, I'm going to get hit for each one, one at a time, on all of my videos. As you can imagine, this could mean I'm going to spend the next several months repeating this dispute over and over and over and over and over and over again, and whilst I'm doing this, the videos are not mine. And that's annoying. The good news is, I'm winning every one of them except one. I mean, that tells you that the content ID system is not working. The fact that you're getting so many of these, and when you say, no, that's a di that's wrong, you, you win, means the system's broken. You, you're getting... How many, how many true hits versus how many false hits? It, it, it's insane the number of false hits this thing's coming up with. So, YouTube, I'm going to call you out on that one. Your content ID matching system is not working. Either companies have put content in there that should not be flagged. You know, ambient music from games. I suppose you could argue that if somebody took the ambient music from the game and uploaded it to YouTube with nothing more than a screenshot and nothing else, and they just uploaded it and tried to make money off the, you know, ambient sound of the desert or something like this. Yeah, fine. How many people have done that versus how many people have played the game and uploaded footage whilst playing the game or reviewing the game or... Um, doing tutorials about the game or doing commentary about the game uh, maybe maybe a million times more often that happens so yeah, your, your system's kind of balked at the moment, it's partly I think because the new algorithm is too good at finding these things but it's also because a lot of the content that's been added to your system should not have been added um, the people who've added it have added it to say, hey this is my content and it's not their content or it might be their content to some degree. They have the rights to ship it in some places, but they don't have exclusive rights to it. They certainly don't have the rights to stop you using it in games. Um, because, for example, ambient music to the games in Fallout New Vegas was made for Fallout New Vegas. That's where that music's supposed to appear. And you're playing Fallout New Vegas. So the system's broke. This much is pretty obvious. So anyway, yes. Now, occasionally, I am getting a video that goes beyond that, and my Let's Play Fallout 3 modded part 16 is that video. This video I, I, I re-released with the Billie Holiday record removed because I contested it, and they said, no, no, it's ours, tough, tough look. So I tried to remove it. That worked. I then got another claim for another piece of music, and I disputed that. They said, okay, that's fine. I then got another piece of music claimed, disputed that, it's fine. Another piece of music was claimed and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to remove it this time. So I removed it. When I removed it, unfortunately, the song that I did remove prior, the Billie Holiday one, came back. So I got another strike on that. Different company this time, though. In fact, two different companies. Oy, oy. 
So I reverted it because this is one of the cool things about what I've done here. I can actually press a button and get the original video back in all its glory. So I did that and then I went through each record and I'm marking them all for deletion, for removal, every one of them this time. And I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna guess another record's gonna get claimed. And then I'm gonna revert to the original and see what happens and probably only one will get claimed. This is annoying the living daylights out of me, this. This, this. this video has become a bit of an obsession for me. I'm determined to get this video out and public and not owned by someone else. Or in this particular video's case, 5,000 other people. Um, yeah, this is the video that really is annoying me. Now, I tell you what, I have to actually tell you about AdRev. I did, in one of the videos, suggest that AdRev were a bunch of nefarious scam artists. Um, I did. I was hinting at it. In fact, I might have just said it. It seems they're not. They have actually claimed probably half of the videos that have been claimed from me have been AdRev. But it turns out that um, this isn't something they intended. Or at least, that's what they're saying. And I believe them, I think. Because they've put this page up. And every single time I've disputed it, they've accepted it. And on the last one, I didn't dispute it. What I actually did is I followed their instructions on this page, sent them the URL, sent them a message, and they sent me an email back almost immediately saying, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we, we will fix it. Um, you know, best of luck. And we'll see. Now, someone else has suggested if you do that, what they do is they whitelist your uh, channel. And if any of these claims appear, they automatically undispute them themselves. However, that still unfortunately means you lose monetization from the video um, and you have to keep checking your video list to see if any of them have been claimed and then released before you've disputed them. Which is still annoying because that means, if, I mean, if you don't check your, your videos every few hours, you're going to lose revenue from them when that happens, even if these guys release them. But anyway, they do release them, which is, which is you know, something. The, the utter contemptible, parasitic, nefarious scumbags who claimed the Billie Holiday record in this video, on the other hand, um, should be severely flogged and beaten. Um, all sorts of horrible stuff should happen to them. Short of, short of actually getting killed, Horrible things should happen to these people. They are, they are real. They really, no, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I really am kidding. Um, they should be, they should be drummed out of business. They should be drummed out of business. They are, they are scam artists. They don't own the rights to the song, apparently. Checked. They don't own the copyright. So whatever their claim is to that song, it's pretty denuous at best. But the fact of the matter is, that song on that video, them claiming it, it's a joke. And it is a joke. There's no way around it. You can't hear the damned song. It's on a broken radio. It's a weak signal. It's a broken radio. And it's in a room filled with massive machines with turbines. You can't hear it. I ran past the radio three or four times before I realised it was playing. And what was playing? I had to listen very carefully, you know, to figure out what was playing. And I got it wrong. I thought it was Ella Fitzgerald for some reason. It was Billie Holiday. Um, it, it, to, to somehow say, oh no, that video violates our copyright and we now own that video. Rubbish you do. Rubbish you do. That's like me going down into the centre of Oslo, filming something in Oslo, some carnival and that my you know one of my kids is in. And um, as, as we're walking down the street, there, a car goes past with a, a music playing with his windows closed, and you could just about hear it for 10 seconds on the video, and someone comes along and goes, oh, that video belongs to me. No, it doesn't. Shut up. You are you are a, a nefarious... I'm not going to swear. I promised I would not swear. I'm not going negative, am I? I'm going negative already. You see what happens. You see what happened. This is what happened with all the other videos. I end up ranting for an hour and a half. Okay, no. So anyway... The, the, God, I failed already. I really have. I failed. I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay positive. Right. So these people, obviously, yeah, they 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 are um, just out for whatever they can get, and I'm not having it. I'm not having them own any of my videos. I would rather delete the video, um, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying to get this video up every which way I can. They did put adverts on it. They did put adverts on it. The the, the cheeky um, monkeys, and um, I I immediately deleted the original.
when they did that. Um, it doesn't actually matter because this one here, even though I've removed the songs, it's still the original. As I said, I can actually get the original sound, the original audio right back. Uh, but it removed it removed the claim those guys had from it because of the way I did it. Um, so, you know, they're not having it. And I've got it marked as private again, and I'm leaving it private until, until it goes about a week without being claimed. So, yeah, there's that. You'll also notice I've uploaded my Let's Play New Vegas 26. I got some time and did some playing, um, and I've uploaded it, and it's being processed, but I'm not sure I'm going to release it. Because there was music in it, not just the ambient music, but music from a radio, and I didn't get to the radio in time, and I'm thoroughly expecting this one to get claimed. So I'm going to deal with that first. And to be honest, you guys might have to get used to the fact that videos are going to be late, at least in the near future. There are some changes coming that are going to mean that when I upload a video, I need to submit it for review before I can, you know, make it public and monetize it. And they are saying that process takes between two hours and two days, and other people are saying, ha ha ha, that's such a lie. It'll take from two days to two weeks, and sometimes it'll just not happen. Um, so that's going to be, you know, annoying. And before everyone starts really getting onto the whole, let's all have a go at YouTube, um, I, I'm not 100% sure they are solely to blame on this. I am hearing rumors, I am seeing videos on both sides, some blaming YouTube and some blaming networks. I am not ready to voice my opinion on that yet, or really um, come up with a def definitive stance on anything before I've heard from my network. I have requested information. They said they are sending out some information soon. Uh, I will I will absorb that information and then I will update you guys with regards uh, what I think is happening and, you know, in general and what I think is happening to me. But I can tell you the problems I am now having are not new problems for many other partners. Many partners who have not belonged to a network have been facing the problems I am facing since the start. And so whilst I'm going, oh my God, this is terrible, this is terrible, many people have been going, yeah, now welcome to our world. So if this is not new... If this is not something YouTube have changed, I mean, I'm fairly sure they've changed the content ID system to be a lot more vicious. But the fact that I am now getting these content ID matches where before I never would, and the fact that I'm going to have to go through the review process in January where before I never did, even though it existed, seems to indicate I am no longer being managed by my network. And uh, if this is the case, I need, I need to know, and I need to know why, and I need to know the ramifications of this. Uh, and as soon as I get all that, I will update you guys and tell you what is happening. But don't worry too much. Uh, my guess is I'm going to be around for quite some time. I'm going to be making videos. I don't think this is going to stop me. I think I will find ways around this. I tend to be able to do that. Uh, I can't imagine this is one of those cases where I will not find a solution um, and there will still be plenty of tutorials, plenty of modding videos, and yes, even Let's Plays. So, you know, take this period as a turbulent period, uh, but it is, it is, you know, like a little bit of turbulence in a plane, just do your seat seatbelt, ride it out, everything's gonna be fine. I honestly don't think the plane is about to crash into the side of a mountain. <laughs> I really don't. I cannot imagine this is the death of the gaming channels on YouTube. Not for an instant. And even if it was, something would spring up in its place. If gaming channels really were driven off YouTube, I guarantee something would take its place. It really would. The... Um, the market's just too large for these type of videos. Uh, they they really are popular. People want to see the games in action before they buy them. They they want to see the games in action after they've bought them. And uh, that is not going to change. And somebody, somebody will serve that need if YouTube does not. And to be honest, 
I don't think YouTube are going to risk that. <laughs> it, it's it's going to sort itself out. So, I will keep you up to date. I will give you the news as I get it. But for now, let's hope this is the last such video I make until I have that information and that the next few videos will actually be me playing a game or modding a game or at least talking about games. Uh, sorry about the long rambling nature again, uh, but there you go. I will see you guys soon.